each other kept okay we start now they put the date on start 4th with. of April 2014 so this cat comes in because she's not eating. She's a spade cat. And uh, how old is she? Is she do you know? Maybe I don't know. Hmm? She will with us for what, 10? More than 10. Has a kitten? Ten Has a kitten? No. Mm, she's already grown up already. Quite big already, yeah. Hmm. So it should be at least 10 since she's with you all. So that time was she a young kitten? No. A young cat? Yeah, quite fully grown already. But do you see the teeth at that time? Mm, no, not definitely. <laughs> I go and he just come to our house. Okay, so uh, one, one possible reason the cat is not eating, of, of course, is the rotten teeth, as you can see here. Uh, in fact, the, the roots are exposed as well, as you can see. Uh -huh. And uh, it has gone into the, the sinus. Uh, this is side, this side, and then this side, the right side, uh, the left side, same problem. So, you can see the tartar. So this is one reason because of toothache and infection of the mouth. Mm. So of course the cat doesn't want to eat. Uh, actually she eat a lot no, but she don't put on meat. Every time she keep asking. Oh, now she's saying don't eat because no. of the toothache. One, one reason, one reason. Mm. Of course there could be other reasons. Uh, but this is normally the main reason. Uh. I mean if like, your mouth is full of uh, rotten teeth, you, you also don't feel like eating mm. after a while. No? I mean you, you might eat to, su to survive. So that's why it doesn't put on weight. Then secondly, secondly, uh, it's not drinking much, is it? Yeah. Okay. So now the, the other thing you were talking about was the was the lump here. Okay, turn over, come. Wait, you hold it. Now, yeah. turn over, come. Mm -hmm. Now, cats over five years old, uh, although this one has been sterilized, it could have got uh, breast tumor. We call it. Uh, and, uh, uh, and then you see it was a cyst. It was a cyst last time. Now who say it was a cyst? Uh? They came for surgery last week. Yeah, yeah. Was it a cyst? They mm -hmm. came in October, yeah, that's six months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the vet removed the lump. It was a lump. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I wrote down here, so it's a skin tumor. It's just that we didn't send to the lab for, for checking up. Did the vet advise you to send to the lab for checking? Mm -hmm. I don't know, the last time, mm -hmm. there was it. Mm -hmm. So it, it probably was an infected, uh, infected tumor and then it becomes watery, so it looks like a cyst, is it? But definitely it's not a cyst, so now it's a respect to this uh, bigger area up to here. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's part of the memory tumor, the breast mm -hmm. tissue. So. The best is to, of course, uh, cut it off and then uh, send to the lab for, for examination whether it's cancerous or not. If it's cancerous, then I think I'll you should do the testing first, right? See whether it's cancerous first. You mean you take a bit of tissue uh, and, and right, send to the lab for lab testing first? Why do you want to do that for? I mean, it's going to be. To see whether it's cancerous or not. It's going to be delaying the whole. Uh, whole process, you see. And for the one it's spreading quite big, right? I guess we should, we need to see what's, what's the... Okay, I'll leave it to you, but my, my advice is just to get it out and then send to the lab the mm. whole whole tissue, I mean whole, whole lump, you see. Mm. Because it seems to be, the last time it was done, and uh, the time was probably smaller than now. Now I think mm. it should be at least, uh, was it smaller last time? Now it should be at least uh, how, how many centimeters? Uh, about five centimeters times four centimeters. Five times four. Then on the same place as well, yeah. It was on the same place. Yeah, but never mind, if you just want a biopsy, then I just do a biopsy. You know? Not to send it to the lab. Let's see what is the cost first. Huh? Okay, so we just get a small piece and send up. Huh? And then do the because teeth. Because if we do a major surgery, it's going to be uh, dangerous. It's going to be. Risk yeah, always uh, old, old see, cats are, yeah. uh, of course, high risk, is it? Then, uh, do you want the blood test to be done? To, to test check on the health, yeah? Is, How the is health? it necessary? Yeah, if necessary, if it's before surgery or... Okay, uh, I mean, if it's necessary, then we do it. Now, there seems to be a big lump here. It's probably... Uh, 
swollen kidney. Uh, but the left kidney seems to be more swollen than the right kidney. Uh, but the cat is drinking a lot, no, uh, not so no vomiting. Uh. Yes. No, just this, this morning, morning he vomit yellow because he don't eat that. Mm. So the kidneys are enlarged but not painful. So blood test and the dental and the biopsy, is, is that what you want? Is, is that a recommended action? Because we don't want to go through the surgery. The last time we had the old cat, uh, mm. uh, the previous cat went through surgery, put on drip, and mm. uh, still tell us, you know, they just uh, put on the pin and Died. Died? No, we bring her, what? the one, the kitty, last yeah. time. We have a surgery, lock up oh. for one week and everything, and then after that, she just, just tell us that uh, cannot be helped. Then, uh, like, thinking why go through all that, the pain to the cat also. We bring her to put to sleep her in, in, yeah. in this bit also. Last time, one we admit her one in Bali. Yeah, old cats, old cats are, uh, like this case, mm. it's hard to predict, let's say, to me, it looks more like a cancerous growth of the breast tissue. I think at least we test first, at least we know uh, the cause. Huh? So, no matter what surgery you do, it comes back again. That's why it came back, because six months ago it was done, you see. Mm. Uh, it just said it wasn't sent to the lab for mm. checking, mm. Uh, due to economic reasons, I guess. Uh. And uh, so, that, 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 that would be the reason. Uh. The vet says how, how fast is the biopsy? The About two days. Uh. Two days. Okay, then we do the biopsy first. So we still uh, do the teeth, no? Yeah, the teeth ah. and the biopsy. Teeth, biopsy and blood test, yeah. three things, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we will get a cat's uh, teeth. And she's still here, right? No, 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 no. Afternoon can uh, go on upwards, huh? So in conclusion, the biopsy to check the breast tumor, okay. Then uh, dental, what the mean? Teeth mm. extraction probably needs to be done because it's already all Rotten uh, teeth extraction and scaling, uh, and then number three will be the blood test. Uh. So the cat's very thin, you know. Uh. Yeah. What? What is it? It lost weight. Uh. Last time was three point eight. Now it's three. Uh. Yeah. Oh, it lost weight. Uh. Okay. So. It's not eating for how many days? Hmm? How many days not eating? Uh? Three. Three days, so we give an IV drip. Uh. Three days. Okay, well then we do this thing, uh, if it's cancer, then at least you know what's the situation. Uh.